Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Butts and Guts. So we are coming on to the tail end of week three. You guys have been absolute rock stars. Stay with me. Two workouts to go today and tomorrow, and you will have totally kick butt on this 21-day challenge. Um, what you're going to need, grab your mat and some water and a good sense of humor as always. Um, I know that I've talked to a few of you about modifications. So for those of you who have sensitive knees, our very first couple of exercises is squats and curtsy lunges. Those curtsy lunges come back and we kick out to the side. You can either do that holding onto a chair for stability and just working your own range of motion, or if taking that twisting lunge is too much, you can um, just stand holding onto the chair. Feel like you're actively engaging those adductor muscles by like pushing away at your feet. And then from that nice secure hold, you're just gonna do the leg lifts out to the side. That's gonna hit your abductors and your gluteus medius, which is exactly what we're working on this move anyway. To take it up a notch, if you want to add a level of resistance and you do have a band, you can keep that band around your ankle and do the lifts to the side while we do the squats um, to kicks. Same thing with regular squats and pulses. You can take that band and bring it up over your knee when we do those if you want to add a level of resistance or if you are actually looking for a modification. So have a band nearby. Um, if you want to use a stability ball later when we take it down to the floor and we're doing our bridges and holes, you can either do it with your feet on the ground, put it on a stability ball. If you've got a, a duffel bag or a suitcase or something or the edge of your couch, and you want to take that up a notch, that's where you'll elevate your feet and do the bridges in that position. So set your space. We're going to start in about 30 seconds or so with our warm-up, and we'll get right into it. I know lots of information coming at you first thing in the morning, um, but I just want to make sure that you guys are set up and ready to rock and roll. This is going to be a great workout. Uh, just changing a couple of the moves from last week. Um, just to take it up to another level. You guys are strong. You've got this. All right, about 10 more seconds. Don't forget to have water nearby and we will get started. Put the timer on. All right, let's warm those bodies up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take it over to the side. Inhale up. Exhale, over to the side. Inhale up. Arms out to the side, chin to chest, rolling it down one vertebrae at a time. When your hands get to the ground, take that squat, leading it all the way back up. Starting from the beginning, we're going to do five of these. Really warming the spine up. Open, roll it down. Squat, lift. Up. Over, go at your own pace here. Open them out, roll it down. This should feel really good, just getting the body gently warmed up. Taking it over. And rolling it down. From here, you're gonna stay in a squat. Forward bend to press. Squat it down. Forward bend, three, we'll do this for five, four, five. Now arms out, cross over and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and twist side to side. Two, three, four, we'll do 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Straighten it out. We're taking it to a squat here. Here we go. Take it down. Up, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, and a knee. Down, knee, two, up. And wide stands, great breath in, hands to center. You guys feel warmed up and ready to go? Let's jump right into it today. You're going to grab a chair. If you want to use weights, you can grab a set of dumbbells for this first couple of moves. We're going to do a curtsy lunge with the side kick. So we'll do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then we'll move into vertical climbers. So grab something to hold on to for weights, crossing it back. Kick it out to the side. Out. Four. Kick. Five. Six. Whoop, watch your balance. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's really important to engage all of your stabilizing muscles or you fall over like I do. Other side, here we go. Take it back and kick it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. We're going to go into vertical climbers next. So that is when our weights come up, bringing the knee in, and alternating arms. Same knee the entire time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need to change sides. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. That's round one. We're going to do the whole thing again. About 20 seconds, grab a sip of water. First water break here. Curtsy lunges are next. We're gonna go right back into it. Here we go. Find your starting position. Take it down and kick. Two, three, four, Six, seven, whoop, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, take it down, down, and kick. Two, kick. Halfway there, five more. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job, back to vertical climbers. Here we go, weights up, bring it in. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Awesome, you guys. We're going to move on. 20 second break. Get another sip of water. We're going to stay standing. One weight in hand this time. We're going to be doing goblet squats with pulses and then around the world. I'm going to walk you through it as we go. About 10 more seconds. All right. So for the goblet squat, your weight is going to be in your hand, holding the arms straight down. Take a wider stance. Turn your toes slightly out and sit back like you're still sitting into a chair so your knees are still going out and aligning over your toes. Squeeze it up, pulling those inner thighs and the glute muscles together as you come up. Two, three, four, we're gonna hold it down on 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold it here, a little pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, take that weight in one hand. You're gonna hold it from the outside. Big circle up and around the head, passing through in front of the chest. These are around the world. Two, we're gonna do five in each direction. Three, four, Five, and reverse here. Take it back the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. 20 seconds off. We're going to do the whole series one more time. How are you guys doing? Still with me? Still feeling strong? I know those pulses can really set those quads on fire. And the butts. That's why it's butts and guts, you guys. We've got this. Here we go. Hold on to that weight in front of you. Toes turned out. Standing nice and tall. Keep those ribs hidden, but chest lifted. Everything is activated in your body and take it down. Squat and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Hold the weight here. Pulse it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Little lower. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Squeeze everything back up. Take that weight around the world. One, two, three, four. And five, let's reverse, other way. Two, three, four, and five, fantastic. We're gonna take the entire rest of the workout to the floor from here on out. So grab your mats if you have that stability ball or you wanna use your bands, get those nearby and we're gonna jump right into it. All right. So the first floor series that we're going to do is going to be pike reaches. So we'll do our pike reaches to Russian twists, to flutter kicks, to bicycles. Here's what those pike reaches look like. You're gonna come, basically you can start in tabletop, press yourself up to a plank. From here, you're gonna reach back to the outside of your ankle, come back through plank. Reaching back, coming through. We'll do 10 total, so you'll go to five on each side. The modification for this would be to come from tabletop, reaching back and really twisting and crunching, coming back forward into a kneeling plank, reaching it through with a little twist, pressing it forward to a plank. Every time you come into a plank, I want your core to be actively engaged. Crunch it and squeeze those muscles when you come down. Keep it really solid, no movement when you're coming forward. Twist and crunch, come forward. All right, let's go ahead and get these started. 10 uh, with your plank to pike reach begins now. So pop up into your plank and reach. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We're going to come on to 
into a seated position, grab a hold of your dumbbell. You could do this with or without weight. So without weight would be your first version of the modification. If you have weights, you're just gonna hold one in each, either a single or two, and you're gonna take it close to the body to the side, lifting it up and over, up and over. If you wanna challenge yourself still from here, you can keep your feet elevated as you twist. Six, we're doing 10 total on each side. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Set your weight down. We're gonna come onto our back, support your lower back here. We did flutter kicks yesterday. We're gonna revisit them today. Lift up a little, 20 flutter kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Knees in, hands behind the head here, and 30 bicycle crunches, crossing that elbow over to the knee. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more. Seven, eight, 29, 30, good. From here, you're gonna place your feet on the mat. Two variations, this is what I was talking about earlier. We're gonna go into our bridges. So you'll press the lower back into the floor, lifting those hips up. Pressing up, squeezing at the top, and lowering back down. We'll do 10 of these. You could stay here, or if you have a ball, you could put your feet onto it, or onto the edge of a couch or something stable, uh, just to give you that in-between point of resistance. But you'll do your bridges to lift it up here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna hold it on 10. 30 seconds begins now. Hold it at the top. If you really want to take it to a challenge, you could even take it to a single leg hold, and that could be either from the ground or from an elevation. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one, come on out, scooch the ball aside, sit up. If your water's nearby, grab a sip. We're gonna run that entire round one more time, starting with the plank to pike reaches. Give you guys about 10 more seconds here. We'll get situated again. All right, let's get back into those planks. Pop it up. Nice strong plank. If you need a little more stability, you can take a slightly wider stance and then take it back and down. Two, down. The goal is to try to reach toward those toes. You don't have to touch them, but you do need to cross back and reach as far as you can. And 10. Come down to your knees. Take it over into our Russian twist. Again, you can have your feet elevated or you can have them planted on the floor here. Dig those heels into the ground. Grab the weight in front of you. Lift it up and cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Weights down, lay onto your back, place your hands below your lower back, extend those legs out, 
and flutter kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Knees in. Hands behind the head, crossing over. One, two, three, four. Last set of bicycles here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Into bridges. So feet up or on the mat, lifting it up for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Hold it here, 30 seconds on the clock. If you want one leg, go ahead and extend it up. I will tell you when we're halfway through. If you have a single leg, it's halfway, change it up. Keep pressing those hips forward toward the ceiling. Lift it up, drive them forward. Three, two, one. Bring that leg down, lower down. Give your knees a gentle hug. And then either roll yourself over to the side or roll up. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna do one more superset here. That's going to be a combination of fire hydrants and donkey kicks. And then we're going to be going into a cross uh, weight reach, uh, you know, arm to leg reach, and then weighted crunches. If you want to use a band for extra resistance, this would be the time to get it. Uh, if you have a cat nearby that you want to hold for a dumbbell instead, I guess we could try that today too. Isn't that right, Cash? All right, let's go ahead and grab that band for the extra resistance for the fire hydrants to start. So you will put this right over the top of your knees, coming into tabletop position. And we're gonna take 10 kicks back. So straight back and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Fire hydrant out to the side. Lift it up one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. Take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your glutes on fire yet? Nine, I know I'm feeling it. Ten. Good. Sit back, stretch it out here for a second. We can go ahead and take those bands off as we move into our core. So you could do this with or without weight, but do have one dumbbell nearby. So we're gonna do it. Take the dumbbell, if you're using this, in your right hand, and then lift up your left leg and reach your dumbbell toward it. Lower down. Two, and down. 10 on each side. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's change hands and legs. Here we go. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Good. Now place your feet on the floor. Take one or both dumbbells in hand, and you're going to do a crunch, lifting it up as high as you can, and lowering it down. Lift it up, and back. Three, and back, four, five, seven, eight, really squeeze those stomachs as you come up, nine, and ten. We'll repeat that whole set one more time. This set, I'm going to show you. Um, if you don't have a band, I will do this with dumbbells behind my leg to show you how you could take it to another level of resistance here. Um, again, you could do this just body weight only. Your butt is still going to be on fire, but depending on where you're at and your workouts and what you want to get out of your workout today, play around with some of these variations. Coming back to tabletop here, you will take that dumbbell, place it behind the knee, flex the foot and squeeze the leg in. This is your starting position. Now well, for the donkey kicks, on this one you're going to kick it up rather than out. So knee in and lift it up. Only reason that we're not going completely out is the dumbbell would go flying. So you have to have something to hold on to it. Still targeting the same muscle group. Five more here. Four, three, two, one, now keep a good hold of it and take it to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. Let's try it on the other side. So taking the dumbbell, placing it behind the knee, squeezing it in, flexing that foot. And let's begin. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's take it to the side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work. Sit back into it. Stretch through those butt muscles. Ooh, I bet that feels good to stretch it out. Come on to your back. Let's do our crossover crunches. Take the dumbbell in your right hand and let's lift it up to meet your left leg. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's change sides. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Both feet on the ground. Dumbbell in both hands or hold on to two if you prefer. And lift it up. One. Two. I find that if I inhale as I go down, and I exhale as I lift, it forces my abdominal muscles to engage more. Give it a try. Inhale here, exhale, lift up. Also gives me a little bit more power on that lift. We'll lift it up.
One more. Good, let's set that weight down. We're gonna do one more exercise and then we're gonna cool it off. So staying here, I'm gonna have you grab just behind your thighs, lift your feet off the ground. We're gonna rock back and rock it up to balance. Take it back, up to balance. Three, we'll do 10 of these. Four, five, six. If you just keep rolling forward, it's okay. Just get back into it. Two more. If you can do it with no hands, even better. Now 10, hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stretch it out. Just make a big starfish on the ground, stretch through every extremity here. Big breath in. Hello, kitty. And bring those knees into chest. You're gonna roll over to your side. We're gonna take a deep stretch to hit your glutes as well as a real great stretch for hip openers. So coming into tabletop here, your hands are gonna be on the ground, about shoulder width apart. Take one leg, open it out to the side, and you're just gonna lean forward, pressing your hips to the front, and then sitting back into it. Let's do five on each side. Press it forward, and back, three, four, and five. Bring that knee back in, extend the opposite leg out, and press it forward. Two, three, four, five. Come back to tabletop, take a deep breath in here. You're gonna round the back. And as you exhale, look up, arch the back. Inhale, round. Exhale, look up. One more time, inhale, round. Exhale, look up. And come to a seated position. Now you can sit Indian style, you could be on your knee, you can cross one leg over the other. You do you, feel, do what feels right. We're gonna take one final spinal twist here just to finish stretching out through the core um, and your back. So you're gonna inhale your arms up. As you exhale, rotate over, letting that hand behind you become a human kickstand, taking the hand in front to the outside of the knee. Continue to lift one vertebrae at a time, twisting around, twisting around, twisting around. Let your gaze be the last thing to follow as your head rotates to the back wall. Hold it for another breath here. And then unwind. Give yourself a little counter stretch and back to the center. Let's do the other side. Inhale up. Exhale over. Bring that hand behind you, creating a kickstand. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Twist like you're wringing out a towel, just twist and rotate, continue to lift. And come back to center, inhale, both arms up. Exhale, you are done. Great job today, you guys just dominated butts and guts. You can now go on and enjoy your